Hey everyone, here is just audio recorded instructions for the macromolecules part two discussion. In this discussion, you be the teacher. In this post, you will pretend to be a teacher who is helping your students prepare for a test on macromolecules. Create a study guide that will help your students. Upload the study guide into this discussion. Here are the questions that you need to answer um, in your study guide. So basically, if you are the teacher and you are teaching your students and helping them review, based on your study guide, your students would need to be able to answer these questions. What is a macromolecule? What are monomers and polymers? What are carbohydrates? How do they function? What are their monomers, polymers? And a fun or interesting example, what is a lipid or what are lipids? Their functions, monomers, polymers, and a fun fact or interesting example. What are nucleic acids? Functions, monomers, polymers, fun fact, interesting example. And what are proteins? Functions, monomers, polymers, fun fact, interesting example. There are so many different ways that you could do this study guide. So I've made a really long list and you could choose any one of these options. Or if you have a completely different idea, you can go with your idea as long as it answers these questions and could, could um, help a student learn these bits of information from your work. So different options in, include recording a video of yourself teaching about macromolecules and uploading it. There's a link if you need to know how to do that. Making a graphic organizer on paper and then uploading a picture of it. Here's a link if you need to do that. Um, make a graphic organizer or um, something like that on Google Docs, Google Slides, or Google Drawings. Paste the link in the reply area. Making a chart on Google Docs, Slides, or Google Drawings. Paste the link in the reply area. Make a bulleted list of the information in a Google Doc and paste the link into the reply area. You could also just do that by clicking reply and then making a list of the information. You don't even have to do it in a Google Doc. You can also make an infographic. Here's a little video about how to make in infographics on Google Slides. You could draw a picture or a series of pictures and write important information about the pictures, like upload it and um, then Here's that example again of me uploading a video so that you can, or uploading a photo so that you can know how to do that. You can make a Google slide that contains all the necessary information and paste the link or any idea that will show all of the required information. Like if you're super creative, you can write a children's book that answers all these questions. It is completely up to you, as long as your work could serve as a study guide that would help students answer all of these questions right there. All right, if you need to review as you work, you, this information can be seen here. Just make sure you don't copy and paste my study guide and call it your own. Also, don't copy and paste information from Google. I'm not interested in what you can Google. I'm interested in what you actually have learned. Um, soon, you'll be able to click there and see this exact video, but also email me if you need help as you go. Thanks for listening.